Anagata de Vida by Iron Butterfly. Coming right up. Also, if you're new here, welcome. I got to do this at the beginning of each YouTube intro, just letting y'all Patreon crew know, dude. So what's up? My name is John Slop. Welcome to the channel. We do song reactions and song reviews, and I tell you how it is dude, from my perspective, how it, what it means to me. I enjoy the crap out of music. So if you do too, please leave a like and a subscribe. That would really help me out. It would really make me feel good as well. Uh, if you really want to make me feel good, go on over to patreon.com slash johnslop for early access to these videos, and you can also submit your own requests. Wouldn't that be fun, dude? Get your own song that I get to listen to. We get to, like, connect in a way. That's what it's all about. Um, also, uh, yeah, um, dude, just as a pre-note, I might have heard parts of this song before. I remember seeing something on VH1 about like the behind the scenes of this song or what it's about. Uh, all I really know is that Inagata de Vida is supposed to be in the Garden of Eden. Um, but other than that, I don't really have any context for this song. Uh, if anything, I know one little portion of the song where he's singing Inagata de Vida, baby. But that's literally like it. I don't think I've ever sat down and listened to this full 17 minutes worth of a song. So, uh, yeah. Nope, this will be pretty cool. So I'm excited. A behemoth of a song. Like 17 minutes. All right. I shouldn't say behemoth because, of course, we have like 20 minute epics, like 21, 12. Um, so I would say this is maybe like a Cerberus. I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about, dude. But... <laughs> Let's uh, just, I'm definitely going to have the lyrics up on the side for this one, just so, just so we don't spend like all day on this. And the lyrics are not even long. What the heck? Okay, no, we can wait till the end to read the lyrics. These lyrics are like, it's four stanzas. Like what? I thought the lyrics were going to be so long. How much of this is instrumental? Holy crap. I can't even wait to jump in. So let's just do it, dude. Let's just do it. Remember, please leave a like. So let's jump into it. Inagata de Vida. So this is the 2006 remaster as well. So. quick i love how like this is pretty psychedelic you can definitely tell this is also from 1968 so this is like before uh a lot of like like 70s kind of metal acts came around so this is like some this is like really cool because um this is mixing a lot of styles right we have like pop rock uh um ooh. What would you even call this? This is a bit of like hard rock. What was this considered at the time? Do, 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 do. Nice riff. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely like, uh, there's a little bit of like Indian melody inspired in the, uh, 
in those cool little sections, dude, it almost sounds like mysterious or like a little scary. Like I know that that that's uh it's it's not scary, dude. Let's just get back into it. I'm just at a loss for words how to describe this song. Uh, what was the general reaction to when this song came out? Um, this is a lot of fun, though. All right. And I love the, the keyboard solo at the beginning. All right. Let's get back into it.
Oh, dude. Real quick, so far, this is so fun. It doesn't even feel like six and a half minutes have gone by. Wow. Honestly, it only feels like three. Uh, love the guitar solo, and I also love what the organ was doing before the guitar solo started. Um, so far, I'm really, really enjoying this. Uh, I love instrumentals, honestly. So, like, this is just really easy for me to just dive into. This is nothing, dude. 17 minutes, easy. Let's just keep it going. What do we got coming up? Ooh. This is cool, dude. Dude, I had no idea this was going to happen. This is all new to me. What? Dude, dude, real quick. When that drum section started, what did you think? Dude, back in the day when this song came out in 1968, what did you think? What, what was people's reactions back then? That's what I want to see, right? Like, can you imagine just listening to this with your family? You're like, oh, let's, let's get the new rock record everybody's been talking about. But then <laughs> the song changes to like more of like a intense drum kind of almost like a tribal kind of beat, dude. It gets interesting, like what is going to happen? I want to know what people thought. So if you were around then, just let me know. If you can share, feel free. Let's, wow, I'm so impressed. It sounded great. I love the amount of reverb. Um, uh, I love how the drum just sounds like, how it's tuned. Its tone is great. And I don't even play drums. So, uh, let's just get back into it, dude. I love where it seems to be going. More instruments coming in. So let's just get back into it, dude. Had no idea this was going to happen. I, I, I love this. All right, here we go. Mm. 
that organ, dude. It's so good. It's so haunting. This whole song has been like semi haunting, semi poppy, dude. It's, it's so cool. hear the riff coming back in wow <laughs> with the solo dude what Elephant?
I am very much enjoying all these new sections. Like I did not even expect a new little section at the end here, but uh, <laughs> that guitar, like I really honestly could not tell what it was at first. I literally thought it was like some kind of like, maybe even like a motorcycle or like a car or something, but it sounded a little bit like an elephant, <laughs> but that was wild. This song is wild. It's all over the place. Yeah, no. Uh, when it went back in with the guitar solo and the riff, the doom, 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 I was same feeling of uh, Bohemian Rhapsody uh, after the Beelzebub parts going back into the hard hitting part of the song. Uh, yeah, I felt the same way. Just a rush of energy. This song is amazing. Wow, this this is great. I really want to know what people thought of this song like at first. Let's just get back into it. Finish it up, dude. I'm surprised we are almost done. Dude, this has passed by so quickly. When you're enjoying something, it really does just like, dude, 17 minutes is nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. All right, let's get back into it. <laughs> This song is going to just be in history forever, studied by musicians for, I mean, as long as we can, I think, wow, this is a, definitely a feat, right? What other group was doing like 17 minute tracks in 1968? Like who? Please, please tell me who I would. I genuinely want to listen to those tracks as well. Oh, wow. Such variety, so much. Most of that song was just so like haunting, right? With the keyboards uh, and the drum section was just so like new and interesting. Um, I was dancing along to so much of this. This was such a fun experience. Um, towards the end there uh, was my favorite. I love the buildup. But uh, towards the end here, what was my favorite section towards the end? I I'm pretty sure it was right after we switched back into like um, the riff. I, 
I, I like this part as well, but I'm pretty sure it was before this part. Hold on. No, no, no. It was actually after. It's right here. Dude, this buildup is so... And even before this, there was just a, a great um, organ section, I think. Let's find it. Uh, it, it I think, I think this, this was it. Or maybe it was even before this. Great guitar solo. I like the organs here. Mm, right here. Honestly, this whole song is just so amazing. There's so many different sections to talk about. And just the way they just smoothly transitioned back into the opening riff for like the outro section of this whole song. Like I said, I enjoyed myself so much. This did not even feel like 17 minutes. Uh, wow. Great work on like that percussionist's part. Also great voice. I didn't even mention like whoever the singer is, their voice is just really low and down here almost like elvis elvis ish right that's like literally the only part of the song that i knew and i was so happy to hear how varied the song was it was all over the place such an immersive experience i loved it shout out to everybody <laughs> uh let's look up these lyrics dude uh, all right, I have him up. In a gada de vida, honey, don't you know that I'm loving you? In a gada de vida, baby, don't you know that I'll always be true? Oh, won't you come with me and uh, take my hand? Oh, won't you come with me and uh, walk this land? Please take my hand. Let me tell you now, in a gada de vida, honey, don't you know that I'm loving you? In a gada de vida, baby, don't you know that I'll always be true? Oh, won't you come with me and uh, take my hand? Oh, won't you come with me and uh, walk this land? Please take my hand. Uh, and it pretty much just repeats. Um, so is this... Like... The, the, the subject matter, I believe it's maybe talking about like... This is like from the perspective of Adam, maybe being like, hey... Because like in, in the Garden of Eden... Honey, don't you know that I'm loving you? This is... Adam talking to Eve, being like, hey, I love you. I don't know, dude. Um, that's right off the bat. Let's read the Genius About section. Iron Butterfly's 1968 song, In a Gata de Vida, was arguably, is arguably the first heavy metal hit. Wow, dude, I compared it to some metal. Uh, the original version of the song that appeared in on the In a Gata de Vida album was 17 minutes long, but it was edited down to under three minutes for radio play. How did you... How did, what, oh, desecrated the song the song reached number 30 in the u.s the band's only top 40 hit it's the namesake album in a gata de vida was its namesake album in a gata de vida was the best-selling album of 1969 the original name for the song was in the garden of eden but engel garbled the title while when telling it to drummer ron bushy and it stuck in the gata de vida oh, that's hilarious uh, at the bottom here, uh, drummer Ron Bushy told Drumhead Magazine, It actually started as a country ballad and was originally only 1 minute and 20 seconds long. <laughs> then we went on tour all over the U.S. When the airplane for three month, with the airplane for three months, and we fine-tuned it. We set up our gear on Don Casale. The engineer asked us to run through a song so we could get some levels on the mics, so we did. But he wasn't even in the room. He was upstairs watching through a window. We didn't even know we were being recorded. Unbeknownst to us, Don pressed the record button, but we didn't know that because we couldn't see that the red record record light was on inside the control room. So we were playing through one song, and thank God we didn't stop. After the first take of the song is over, we're going, is this guy brain dead or what? Then he said, guys, why don't you come out and come on up to the control room? So we went on up and listened to it, and, he, and we went, oh my God, this is great. <laughs> that's so funny i love that just record what you got right or you never know right 
record a fluke, record just a random jam session, you could get something magic, like it has uh, experienced. Um, bassist Lee Dorman told Craig Morrison, we would take it a certain way and then we would have to rearrange it now because we had all the, all these solos. Well, let's put this over here and over there. And let, then finally at 17 minutes, we had to say, let's get out of this. Like, this is too much. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Well, let's also do a little bit of research on who Iron Butterfly is. So this was like their their smash hit dude iron butterfly is an american rock band formed in san diego california in 1966 they are best known for the 1968 hit in agata de vida providing a dramatic sound that led the way toward the development of hard rock and heavy metal music although their heyday was the late 1960s the band has been reincarnated with various members with varying levels of success with no new recordings since 1975 Wow. Their second album, Inagata de Vida, remains a bestseller, and Iron Butterfly was the first group to receive an in-house platinum album award from Atlantic Records. Their music has found a significant impact on the international rock scenes, influencing numerous acts such as Black Sabbath, ACDC, Rush, Alice Cooper, Mountain, Uriah Heep, Soundgarden, Stone Temple Pilots, and Queens of the Stone Age. Wow. I can see that, dude. They were amazing such a psychedelic like pretty heavy rock track you can see how it influenced so much like of these a lot heavier like artists right uh so let's just check out the personnel we have eric barnett guitar vocals um wait no that's okay these are the current personnel right but i want the original let's um wow they've had so many members oh my gosh so many members doom 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 let's check out who was here during we had doug ingle organ and vocals ron bushy drums and percussion we had eric bran guitar and vocals and lee dorman bass and vocals wow okay that is the classic lineup the one we just heard so shout out to you guys i loved every second of this song let me know what you thought of my reaction uh please give me your experience with the song too you know what did you think during the time what did you think of that drum solo in the middle or that drum section dude it's not even really a solo it was like a just took you to like someplace else uh very interesting